What's up guys? Today I got a great video for you. It's gonna be some Black Ops 3 movement tips now that the G Slide is gone. Yes, you heard it here, folks. So Black Ops 3 movement tips. Now before I start this video, a lot of people have been claiming they can do the G Slide by YY jump slide. Now it even though it might be possible, every pro that I've talked to so far has had zero luck doing it once. So it's probably extremely hard, no point of even attempting to do it, just play the game normal how it should be played. So I'll be giving you guys three tips, yes, three tips to help your movement in Black Ops 3, and you know, make help you go around the map faster, you know, improve your movement, all those kind of stuff when it comes to movement. So the first tip I'm going to give you guys, I saw it on Reddit about a couple weeks into the game when it first came out, a lot of pros are doing it, I don't think every single pro knows, but most pros know by now. I wanted to do a video on it, but you know, I never did because I didn't want to give this out. I think a lot of people know by now. But if you slide YY slide or triangle triangle since you're not on Xbox anymore, it will cut the animation by like half a second which can help you move around the map faster. So I'm going to show you guys a, a quick example right here. You're going to see me slide. As soon as I slide, my animation got my guy's going to stop for a second like there's a pause and then I have to slide again. So we're going to do it slide you see I have to stop and then I'm able to slide again. Now if you triangle triangle or let's call it YY, uh, it's going to stop the animation. So slide YY, well it stopped it, but slide YY, slide YY, slide YY. And what after burn, you could pretty much do this like non-stop. This is how you get around the map faster. You see there's not really, there's not much animation. Like if I slide, I can't do it again. You see, it's not allowing me to slide or move forward. If I slide YY, I'm able to move again. Slide YY, slide YY. Slide by Y and uh, and like hard point in a lot of game types are like when I need to get somewhere faster when G slide wasn't heard of or wasn't invented at the time. This is pretty much how you get around the map faster. You slide by Y, slide by Y, and then when you're in certain areas and locations, which will be the next tip number two, you know you just boost off. But that's a really huge important tip. Helps you get around the move around the map faster. Shout out to guy who found it out. Don't know his name. Sorry about that. But it was a, it's a really cool interesting tip that you know a lot of us pros do now. Now tip number two, it's going to be ledge sliding. A lot of you guys know that any single, well I think most of you guys know, but any single ledge on the map you can slide off and it gives you a super boost. It like slides your body off farther. It's like a momentum thing and I'm pretty sure it's built on the game. So right there, it looks like a G slide almost, you know. And just instead, it has to be on stuff. But look, I'm sliding off this and jumping right away after. And you can do this on any ledge. And look how far I, I flew. Instead of doing the basic, you know... Let me just jump here, go like this. That takes time, takes extra seconds. I just fucking do this. Slide, boost, right after, there. You could do that, you could do this anywhere, you know, and you could even do it without boost. Like, if you if your thrust runs out, you can still do it. It just won't slide you off um, as far. But, you know, it's, it's like a momentum. Like, I remember this game first came out. They were talking about how, you know, the wall run and the sliding and everything. How, like, this game is, like, it's all about building up momentum as you run around the map. And it's true, you know, like the boosting off the ledges and all that shit, like, it's crazy. So even though a lot of you guys know this, like I said, just make sure to boost off ledges. And it could be pretty much off any any ledge, you know. Any ledge is doable. Sometimes, you know, you can't position yourself good enough. But you basically, like, jump, boom. Look at this. Look at this movement. Look at this game, dude. Look at this type of movement, man. This is what they want. The, they wanted the game to come out to. And you can do stuff like that. So one last time before I go to the last tip, just boost yourself off ledges. You can do it on, on almost any ledge, but they're off this tree. And then the thing I like to do right after is boost. Because if you boost right after, like I'm going to show you an example. If you slide off, it use half your thrust meter and you still have half left. Yeah, you know, it did send you off pretty far. It dropped you off pretty far. But what you do after is you hold your jump button so you boost. And it sends you off far flying. Now you can do it like that. You boost immediately. Gives you a little bit higher push. But I'm pretty sure if you do it, as soon as you land, you can do it a little bit lower. And now, guys, we're going to be going to the last tip. Tip number three. This tip is pretty... I think this is the tip that a lot of people don't know. I think the, the tip people didn't know too much was the first one. And then this one is going to be one of them as well. And then obviously you had the second tip about the slide off ledges, which I'm pretty sure about most of you guys already knew that. So what this tip is going to be is momentum. Now, when it comes to wall running, you can build momentum and you can launch yourself in some sort of way. And I'll be showing you guys an example. Redwood is a perfect example on this map because of how the, the map is built with the wall runs and how you can pretty much launch yourself off corners. So, oh, wait, that, was, that wasn't bad. But basically, we're gonna let's use this tree right here. So I'm going to go slide and boom. 
I, bra I basically build momentum as you're gonna turn the corner you boost yourself off and you can do this you know pretty much this is how you do it like that and it's a lot faster than you know just um just like doing it normal like for example if I were to just do this like this is a lot slower we can all agree now let's do let's do a repeat of this Ah, let's do a repeat of this. So now I'm gonna launch myself on to the tree or whatever, and it's just it's it, like the whole point of this is just it's faster. Like that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. You see, like I got to the to the where I wanted to get. Like I boosted off as soon as I turned, I boosted off into this wall, and then I boosted off to here. It's just the momentum it builds. Like it, you see, I'm just like like wall running. If you boost off the ledges and like do this, what I'm doing right now. It's faster because wall running normal is not that fast. Like it's you, we can all agree it's pretty slow. You're just like ding, 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 ding. But if you boost yourself and you're gonna go around the corner, you boost yourself again, and you go on the wall again. You're you're gonna be a lot faster. Like I'm gonna give you guys an example of a tip I use to boost myself here. This tip is like I guess an extra tip to you guys. Let's say some. So let's say you're flanking there a B bomb. A guy's sitting here trying to watch bridge. You might have a sub or whatever it is. He might be pre aiming you. So usually what I do is I I go here and I launch myself off this tree. So you guys saw that it was pretty much I got to the middle and I shot myself I, I shot myself like at a pretty good at a pretty good rate and I'm also higher and I just kill him like that now for example let's let's do like if I were just normal while we're normal see it wouldn't be the same so always remember that you know this game is all about momentum like you can constantly see I boost myself thrust myself out of there and say I'm pretty sure you can do it on this tree you can do this on any almost anything so you see like it's a difference between like boosting myself and a lot of people don't do that and it, it helps a lot you know just doing that whole animation either way guys I hope you enjoyed this video I try to be descriptive as possible when it comes to explaining the, uh, the three tips I hope you guys understood them they weren't too hard to understand but you know just to make sure I always want what's best for you guys and you know individual skill I think movement is a very important thing it can help you win gunfights it can help you get into positions it can help you you know like this thing when I say you can kill a guy here like that's very important for your individual skill for your team because that big gunfight right there can save you the game so you know I hope you guys really enjoyed this video please leave a like it helps a lot share the video you know these are just some tips now that the G sliding is gone I think these tips are very important when it comes to your movement because it will help your movement out and go around the map and stuff like that this has been your boy Apathy. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. This has been your boy Apathy. I already said that. And I'm out. Peace.